Stoke City who have beaten two sides from League Two to get here. Hartlepool 3 0 in round three. That was away from home. Two own goals in that one. And then Stevenage 3 1 here in round four. Here is Tyrese Campbell taking on Dunk. And he's got away from Dunk. Still with a block. And listen to the noise from the Stoke fans in appreciation of that. Lamptey gets sucked in. He can't cut it out. 1v1. Great footwork, great movement. And he actually physically pushes Dunk off. What great strength, power, balance that is. Dunk with Toma, and now Lamptey. He's found a cross, and arriving back post with a header that is well saved by Bonham. Lamptey's delivery was uh, really good. Again, you know Lamptey on this left-hand side is going to probably cut in on your right, but again, just ghosting in at the back post, unmarked. Van Heck, Gross hugging the far touchline. Dunk, Mitoma in behind Sterling, and it's 1-0 Brighton. I've just said that Bergson's not really been involved in the game, but it doesn't matter because he puts the ball in the back of the net, but Mitoma's movement is... Superb and the pass even better. And like you say, so unselfish. But his movement to really manipulate Sterling, he can't keep up with him, he can't read. And then this, there you go, that's on the plate. And Hex header away was uh, dropping for Baker, but Casado managed to get a foot in. And Callister in danger of losing that to Thompson. Good aggression from the Northern Ireland International, and now it's Campbell, always wants it on the left foot. Thompson worth a hit from there, and still leaps to his right to turn it behind. Good effort, wasn't it? Again, shapes up, really good shape. And it's a solid save again, but for all Brighton's possession, they have been giving Stoke half chances. Caicedo. Lovely reverse ball. Sarmiento. Fine save by Bonham. This was lovely play. Good intricate passing. This reverse ball by Caicedo. You're looking at the other side of the pitch. Only probably he spots that pass. But then Sarmiento, that's got to be a goal. Another set piece opportunity then for Stoke City. Lifted in by Thompson. Antoine Zabel with a header, and it's just wide. That's as good a chance as Stoke City have had all game, certainly the best they've created in the second half. Oh, it's a wonderful ball in, away from Lewis Dunk's head, away from the keeper. Antoine Zabel can't believe it, can he? Again, I think he just didn't believe in it enough. against the side netting from Matoma. A narrow angle. That's a very good save. Yeah, it's a really solid save, isn't it? Look at him moving across, making himself big with his hands and feet. McAllister, Undav, and now Welbeck trying to get his way through. Danny Welbeck, force wide, but couldn't keep the shot on target. Looked sharp in that moment, didn't he, Welbeck? Good turn. Again, waiting for that moment to pull the trigger. Shows how dangerous he is. Feltman goes long for Welbeck. Out comes Bonham. Clearance is poor, straight to Undav. Chance to settle it here, but he's put it wide. a lovely look again Undab takes on the keeper well Macedo's tackle in goes Wilmot 
Ondav. On to Enciso. Ondav letting it run. It's well back against the post. The killer second still won't come for the Premier League outfit. I mean, well, Brett can't believe it. There you go, pass it on to your teammate. The next teammate's got more time and space. And again, good shape on Welbeck, good shape on the ball. How are you doing? I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. You need to get better people on the camera video. Oh, <laughs> I have a feeling he's going to be contender for top of the league. Let's give it a try. I think I've just fallen in love.